I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tivium here, welcome back to another day of 6 o'clock content. I've turned it on and been met with a Summer Heat fan vote again. Uh, does that, I mean, I, it's just, there's so many of them now, I genuinely don't know what, we, what we're meant to have today in terms of, uh, like, voting. Did we, did we vote for something recently? Probably, I can't remember. Uh, real World Performers, from the Player Pick Pack. Granted to you, select which of the three nominees you want to receive a Foot Summer Heat winner item. The nominees have been standout performers since the restart of football who did not receive a team of the season so far. The winner will receive theme stats upgrade. What do you mean a theme stats upgrade? Like, what does that mean? Uh, and will be available in SBCs on Thursday, July the 16th for a limited time. So two days. What does a theme stats upgrade even mean? What do you mean a theme? I don't get it. I do not get that at all, but um, I think that's what all of them say. But I don't know what that means. I don't think anyone does. So, um, I mean, I don't really care. Um, I'm not not to say that I th I wish they'd chosen three different players. I just don't really have a use for any of them. Um, you know, I'm going to help up my Arsenal fans. I'm not English. Uh, I'm not an Arsenal fan, but I'm going to help out, help out the Arsenal fans out there and vote for Saka, who should probably have had like some sort of Future Stars card anyway. So there we go. I voted for him. I really don't mind who wins that. I won't complete it either way. Uh, what day is it today? Tuesday. Highly unlikely we'll get an objective, and we don't. Uh, I'm not too bothered about completing them on this account either, so that's why hardly any of them are done or at least half done. I'm just not going for them. If I hit them when I'm reviewing, then so be it. Um, that team, you'll have seen the review for Saul this morning. Uh, we packed him yesterday. And of course, you'd have seen the review that went out earlier for Lukaku. If you want to check that out, feel free to do so. Fantastic little super sub. But uh, in terms of a player you can start, don't know. Uh, Ronaldo. Oh, oh, Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo. 17 goals, 12 games, 7 assists. I mean, that might not look great to some people, and that's fine. But when when you do reviews and you are primarily focusing on playing with Raul, getting clips with a player, you know, like you play a game normally and every time you see the player you're reviewing, maybe you'll do something you wouldn't normally do. Maybe you'll try and give him the ball now and again when you normally wouldn't. It's not something that I actively try and do. It's just something that I subconsciously do because I know the more he's on the ball, the, the faster I can get clips, right? You know, and, and, and obviously the more chance of me picking out the best ones because I don't include every clip I pick up because otherwise the video would be ridiculously long. So I just pick out the best ones or the ones that show something I want to talk about. But... Um, when that happens, you know, in the same team reviewing Lukaku and, and Raul, I obviously have to focus on those two. And you don't focus on Ronaldo. And he's still scoring goals for days. It's unreal. Absolutely incredible player. Now, SBCs. Do we get the result of a vote? We get a Karim Benzema, player of the month. That's no surprise to me, having seen him score uh, countless goals for Real Madrid over the last few uh, few weeks since the restart. 92 rated. He does have a team of the season card, so you can argue, well, it's pointless why the A done it. They don't decide who wins player of the month in any league. So you can't have a go at EA for releasing a player of the month, Karim Benzema, because it's out of their hands. They don't have any say in it, right? So in terms of the stats, four star, four star, very good finishing, uh, good short passing and vision, relatively good, I mean, I say relatively, very good composure, dribbling, ball control reactions, not great balance, not great on the agility, given the fact that he is 6-1. Okay, physicals. I mean, it's not a bad card, but it needs to be super cheap because otherwise, what's the point? And that is super cheap. And that is so confusing to me because that card is a 92 rated and it's good 
but it's not good enough, in my opinion, for, for the majority of people. And, of course, he already has a team of the season, which a lot of people will already have and is not that expensive on the market these days and is probably about to go back into packs, actually, when the third set of cards drop uh, on Friday. So, what's my point? My point is, if we go over to the Premier League Player of the Month, we can see... that we have Bruno Fernandes. Now, Bruno Fernandes is a 91 rated card, therefore one lower than Karim Benzema. Has a, has how many cards? Two cards better than this already available for nothing, for just playing the game. So the fact that this one is as expensive as it is, an 84 rate, 284 rate teams, and then that point as draining club SBC, but those 284 rated teams for a 91 rated card, okay, I would argue that he's probably a little bit more usable because he's just that good and he does fit the meta of the game. His high defensive work rate may put people off, but either way, it's a card that you can go and grind for nothing right now in objectives, essentially. This one, you have to go buy off the market and they make it super cheap. I do think it's worth it, though, for an 82 rated team. Grind up a few 82 to 88s, complete them, uh, open them, Pick up some cards, offset the rating, maybe if you pack like an 84, 85. Chuck some 80 rated cards around it. Make sure you get your chemistry. Job done. Nice big 92 rated card to be able to then go over to what I just saw a second ago, which was the La Liga team of the season so far guaranteed, which is hilarious when you think of how many people are going to pack Karim Benzema from this. Uh, what is the requirement? If this is 86 rated, then in my opinion, it is a ripoff. Because the La Liga team of the season isn't as good as the Premier League team of the season. And even when they dropped it back when they were still in packs, I believe this was cheaper than the Premier League guarantee. I believe. That's a little bit better. Um, 85 rated team, 50 chemistry. Definitely worth a punt and a punt I shall take. I've decided to take my own advice and I'm going to go and complete Karim Benzema to throw into the guaranteed because I was trying to complete the guaranteed and I would have had to buy a couple of cards because the upgrades are just not working. So, um, 92 rated card coming in. I'm having to give up an 85 and an 87, but I think that's okay. Uh, not a, really a problem with it. Mendy, of course, we've got the other one. We can start upgrading that one and we can, we can give him up. Moreno, I'd, already in the club, easy enough. 92, Karim Benzema joins the club for about three seconds before he gets chucked straight into the guaranteed. Oh, we're going to get to see him walk out as well. So, is that worth it? I mean, I think so, purely just for the rating more than anything else. I mean, a 92 rated card on the market is going to cost you a lot more than that SBC will to complete, I think. I mean, if you, if you don't read too much into it and you assume that the untradeables in your club didn't cost you anything. I know they did, but on the PC market, for example, it says here that the cheapest 92 is around 70 to 75k. That might be a lie, uh, because I've just tried to search up for like the cheapest 86s and stuff, and it wasn't accurate because prices are flying up right now. But um, on console, it reckons Harry Kane's 92 is the cheapest at 56 that probably isn't true anymore. It's probably more sort of 60, 70k because of the two SBCs that have just come out. So um, I'd like to know how much that SBC costs to complete. And I will go and have a look at that just now while I trot on over. They, they released this as well, Summer Heat Voting Day. If you're interested in that for a draft token, then that's going to cost you a 79 rated team. I think that's probably less. Uh, yeah, that's coming in at around seven and a half nine k so i mean if you get into a draft for coins it's cheaper to do it this way so that's fair enough benzema is around 35k which is banging even if the prices hadn't changed on the market uh for like kane for example that 92 being 56 000 even if it is still 56k this is still 20k cheaper than that so uh, benzema definitely worth it summer heat voting was worth it if you're interested in that sort of thing uh this one this one is probably not worth it, really, unless you're just in it for the gamble, uh, because it's going to come in at around 110, 115,000 coins. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, really. I mean, yes and no. That's the team I'm going to submit for the Liga, uh, La Liga team of the season so far. Is that worth it? I mean, when you look at that, 
92 Benzema looks better than he is because obviously we just picked him up for 30, 35k. Adama came out of the Premier League guarantee and Aidan McGeady's been in this club since that SBC was dropped months and months and months ago. I still have him on another account, so I'm not too bothered about giving him up. The rest of it is just sort of low-rated fodder. Uh, so, I mean, arguably, I paid an 86-rated team to get that Adama. So, yeah. And then we just paid 30k to get him, and I paid whatever it was to get McGeady. So, on paper, no. Not really worth it, unless you pack one of the big boys. I swear to the press-up gods, if I get Benzema, I am going to be so tempted to just discard him. Uh, it's not as uh, effective as it used to be, because there is quick sell recovery. So if anybody plays a search and discard, I don't really like watching those anymore because they can just quick sell recover but hey here we go la liga team of the season so far let me know if you've done it in the comments and who you've got from it i got argentina right wing no wait for it wait for it wait for it spanish dead already right mid gerard moreno of course it is uh 93 rated i mean that's a banging rating if anything else so i suppose arguably that is what we're saying 70k player there thereabouts how much is Gerard Moreno going for on the market uh so there are um cards in draft as well I've just noticed so uh, Gerard Felix is in draft as well as a few other players that uh, obviously like Williams and Isco and Tello, they're all in draft now if you're interested in those. Yeah, so on, on console, this is a 70 to 75,000 coin player. So in that respect, I suppose it'll help me when we go and do the next guaranteed team of the season. It'll offset the rating big time. Uh, but on PC, it's actually 105,000 coins because the markets are knackered, basically. So because I play on PC, that's actually not that bad. It's probably just under my money back in terms of what the SBC costs to make. So, I can't complain too much, I don't suppose. Uh, pop that in the club. Let me know what you've got in the comments. Do you think Benzema's good value or not? Have you done him? And if you have done him, are you going to use him? Or are you going to throw him straight into another SBC? If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.